it's good. Uh, so this meeting, I can learn from you uh, all those new uh, advances, and uh, uh, I do uh, receive the, your, uh, your slides you know, before this uh, uh, meeting today, and uh, so I, I did some study, uh, and uh, I do have some, my own opinions and questions for some of the, not all of that, I, I, I should actually congratulate to uh, not ESC, but all those uh, researchers, they uh, uh, really did a great work and research and advanced uh, the science in prevention of cardiovascular disease uh, for all over the world. You know, the, the, uh, uh, you know, not, I think uh, covered from you know, diet, uh, lipids, uh, uh, screening, uh, even, uh, you know, finally inflammation, uh, all, th all those uh, uh, hot topics and uh, uh, great research um, areas. Mm. Uh, but I think today uh, here, I, I don't want to comment all of them. I think I should congratulate again to all, all those nice studies. And uh, But I do want to uh, come back to the uh, the dietary one, uh, which I think is uh, uh, probably the most important topic because uh, everybody eat food. <laughs> uh, not everybody eat drugs. So uh, th this is uh, really important. And uh, the pure study uh, findings you uh, uh, being uh, released or reported this year you know, uh, on ESC, but also on the Lancet, um, is really cause a lot of discussions. I believe also in uh, your countries and uh, here in China, uh, not just among our scientists, but also among uh, general public. And uh, people start, you know, suddenly uh, uh, being confused <laughs> what we should eat. Know whether we did right or wrong previously, and then uh, now. So uh, uh, the the pure study uh, raised the question: you know, uh, whether we need to change our dietary guidelines, which you know uh, generally say you should eat less fat and keep a uh, fair amount of the, the carbohydrate. Uh, intake, uh, but uh, the pure study says, well, uh, you should eat more fat, but less carbohydrate. Uh, let's uh, go back see and uh, how this uh, st uh, this study uh, uh, was doing. I, I think uh, um, I reviewed the original uh, published uh, article, and uh, this is the, the quote. The conclusion, you can see the high carbohydrate intake was associated with higher risk of total mortality, whereas total fat and the individual types of fat were related to lower total mortality. Um, if this conclusion is true, uh, it's really, uh, we do need to consider change our uh, dietary guidelines. Uh, but uh, if we uh, look the study in more detail, and we can see, uh, yes, the study has a very big study population, but this population actually coming from 18 different countries with very different uh, cultural background and you know, uh, social economic development uh, stage. Here uh, from the study uh, reported data, we can see uh, uh, China, uh, probably you can't see the uh, uh, figure not here. Oh, sorry. But Chinese sample in the study actually uh, having the highest uh, carbohydrate intake, but the lowest fat intake. Uh, for those with a high uh, fat intake, 
the, those from European, uh, Middle East, and the Southeast Asia. I believe that was uh, that is uh, Malaysia. Uh, they have almost equally uh, same uh, amount of uh, fat, about uh, thirty percent of energy intake from fat, and about uh, fifty from uh, carbohydrate. Uh, so, but geographically, they are very different. Uh, Let's see uh, more detail about the data. I, I think the data also presented by uh, Professor Ferrari in your slide. Here, they, they do try to control this uh, difference, uh, population difference, by separating the total uh, study population into Asian and uh, non-Asian regions. Uh, after doing that, they can see actually uh, for Asian countries, the p-value is larger than 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.05. So it's uh, not significant. And uh, more importantly, is it is the actually, it sees this linear, but actually it's a J shape because they, they compare to the one here is the, actually J shape, uh, non-significant uh, relationship. Um, further, uh, we can see here in the Q3, if you look non-Asian region, that the, the, the uh, energy coming from uh, carbohydrate is 55%. That was the exact number for DASH diet which developed in the U.S. and uh, been considered so far by the whole world nutritionist as the best diet in this world for prevention of cardiovascular disease. Uh, so you can see that's Q, basically Q3 here for Asian, but Q3 here for non-Asian uh, countries. And who are those Q4 and Q5? You can see for Asian countries, uh, those people who take carbohydrate more than 70, even 80% of their total energy. Uh, those, uh, who are those people? Now who, what type of person who are now taking di diet with carbohydrate providing energy more than 70%. Uh, you can think about that, but I can tell you later on. Uh, again, let's look data for total fat. Uh, here, you, if you look at the people trains, both for Asian and non-Asian are significant. Yeah, right? <coughs> but unfortunately, they are not those response it's not those response relationship, sorry, but it's, uh, it's significant after the Q2, it no change, it becomes the level O here. And if, if we look, the uh, energy from total fat, from Q5 to uh, Q1 to Q5, it's 8.7%. 33.5%. That's about a fourfold difference. It's a huge uh, diversity here. And uh, actually, that indicating uh, a mix of actually very diverse populations. The Q1 and Q5 sam study sample may actually represents two different country or two different population instead of uh, different individuals living in one country or one uh, region. That is the problem. So uh, even although they uh, try to control the problem you know, by uh, separating uh, by Asian and non-Asian, but that's not enough clearly not enough. Uh, 
So now back to this uh, slide for China. We, I just uh, take the uh, numbers out and uh, uh, enlarge here for you so you can see. For Chinese population, the protein intake is uh, provided 15% of total energy fat, 18, and the carbohydrate, 67. And uh, here, this slide coming uh, is uh, uh, data from National Nutrition Survey for the average uh, nutrition uh, intake for Chinese population so from 1992 to uh, 2012. You can see this compare you can see this study population in pure of Chinese lived probably even before year 1992. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making a joke. Uh, they, they, are not, they are not, right? So they must be a very poor population in China somewhere. But if you look at the protein, uh, proportion can see even higher than people uh, live now in China. So it's a very unique uh, sample uh, for Chinese. That's uh, just let you know, uh, those are the, the uh, problems. So we can see pure study uh, use a mix of very diverse samples, but the analysis did not adjust for that variance well, and the high carbohydrate fat ratio may represent a poor economic and social development, which relates to the mortality inversely. That's, we know that uh, very well. Uh, here I give you data uh, more for the uh, Chinese study pattern by urban and uh, rural, and you can see nowadays Chinese actually eat a lot of fat every day. For urban, more than almost 36%. For larger cities like Beijing, Shanghai, more than 40%. And for ha carbohydrates, 50%, or even less. And uh, even for rural, generally, you know, 30% fat and uh, less than 60% for carbohydrates. So uh, this tell us, you know, this here, this is uh, the Chinese Nutrition Dietary Guidelines uh, published last year, and which still emphasize we should eat enough, you know, carbohydrate, but very little or less oil. That's the fat, or less than 30 grams per day. I don't think right now we need to change our Chinese guideline on nutrition, and uh, our pure study uh, just uh, could not provide enough convincing data for us to do that. That is my, uh, sorry about that, but uh, I, I, I think I have to speak out uh, what uh, we understand of the study. Thank you.